Since the day the first train arrived in Fort Bend County more than 150 years ago and folks gathered in celebration, people continue their curiosity and love affair with trains by visiting the Rosenberg Railroad Museum. Uh, the Rosenberg Railroad Museum was established to interpret the history of the eight railroads that came through Fort Bend County and helped to establish it. And my vision for the museum is really to help us show the relevance of that history to the people today because railroad history is still very, very relevant and it impacts our lives. Among the quiet heroes of the Old West were visionary financial barons, the eager young engineers and surveyors who pushed through open country along with track gangs who endured dangerous and back-breaking efforts to construct the lines. The hammering sounds of anvils driving the spikes and the clang-clang of rolling stock speak to the vast distances they obtained so passengers could experience splendid adventures and business could thrive with deliveries of varied and valuable freight. My name is Jim Vollmer. I'm on the advisory council for the Rosenberg Railroad Museum. Uh, the interesting part of Tower 17 is that it's the last of the manned operating towers in the state of Texas. Union Pacific donated it to the museum. The goal of the museum was to make it an interactive exhibit that uh, visitors could come and throw the levers and switches and operate signals uh, that are connected to the tower and see that aspect of railroading that people don't normally get to see. The building uh, was completed in July of 1903 and it stayed the same operation, the same uh, mechanism for over a hundred years. As railroads bridged the continent, they made America truly one nation. The emblems flashing as rail cars passed became as familiar as postage stamps. Train engineers, conductors, freight crews, station employees, along with Harvey Houses, created an economic prosperity that continues to chug forever into the country's culture. Uh, my name is Harry Knowles and I work for the, or retired actively as an engineer from the Port Terminal Railroad Association. Uh, it is a time capsule of my history and it's something that I want to see go on, the history of the railroads. Uh, I'm also passionate about history itself, so I like to see things that, that are accurate and, and try to convey that knowledge to anyone that steps through these doors. Sights and sounds attract children, history buffs, seniors, youth, and scouts. A tour of exhibits is a lesson in codes, signals, and safety how lanterns became traffic lights, and the invention of standard time became contributions to society. I love trains. I love to help out people. And when I heard that Mr. Vollmer was, needed someone to help him out with the Tower 17, I decided to help him out and beautify the community at the same time. The reason why I built the satellite at the Bear Museum is because I love helping people and I love helping the community. For international visitors, American tourists, and county residents, the Rosenberg Railroad Museum offers collections and artifacts detailing the history and people. Featured on the spacious grounds is a lovingly restored 1879 business rail car to recall the golden days of travel. Tower 17 was the last manned railroad interlocking tower in Texas. The museum also boasts the largest handcrafted model rail city in the region, an early stone bathhouse that the trainmen used, and a bright red caboose round out some of the interactive exhibits. Hi, my name is Lauren. And my name is Andrea, and we're junior docents at this museum. We had a wonderful experience this summer helping the children and the public. The first wave of economic development that rail brought to the county may be over, but more is on the horizon. The two-acre campus is devoted to being a mirror of the industry, community, and technology of yesteryear, and is ideally nestled in the historic downtown district of Rosenberg, a stride the tracks and railroad it celebrates. The gates open to the public six days a week. 
No federal, state, or city funding is received. Corporate and community contributions like yours keep the doors open and the lights on. Hi, my name is Robbie Reed and I am the Education Program Coordinator primarily for youth. This is the place where yesterday meets today and I'm lucky enough to be able to be the guide for the kids that come here. We do a little bit of everything and they don't even know they're learning, which makes it all the more exciting. Here I get to be creative. Here I get to apply all the skills I learned as a teacher. Here I get to see yesterday walk by in the form of what's going to be tomorrow. This is the place where you can feel challenged and at the same time you can feel very satisfied with what you've done. Here's where my seniors come and they reminisce about when they were youth and they are slightly saddened because their grandchildren will never get to experience what they did on the passenger trains. Here is where the history buffs come and they argue with each other about who knows what about most. But this is the place, a place, for all who want to come. With your generous donations, we can help keep the bell ringing at the Rosenberg Railroad Museum for generations to come.